All right, well, for many producers, especially those in the poultry industry, treating wastewater is a long and expensive process. Yeah, it's a problem researchers at Georgia Tech are looking to solve with magnetic nanoparticles specifically designed to remove phosphates. Damon Jones tells you how this treatment works and why it could really benefit the ag industry. With the EPA regulating the types of nutrients discharged into nearby lakes and streams under the new Clean Water Act, the pressure is on producers, especially those in the poultry industry, to reduce the amount of phosphate in their wastewater. It's an obstacle food science researchers at Georgia Tech are looking to overcome. You know, there is, there's been significant pressure on water here in Georgia over many years. In addition, we're looking at the national landscape for water and there's, a, there's high demand for water. And so anything we can do to position Georgia as a leader in terms of some of these technologies, I think is a win for Georgia and for all the work that we do here in ag. In most poultry processing plants, things like aluminum and iron salts are used to remove phosphates, which can not only be expensive, but also create biosolids that might cause additional treatment problems. Here, the researchers are working on a solution to that problem with nano-sized particles and a magnet. The, the magnetic nanoparticles are very tiny, small particles, and the size of the particle is about 10 nanometer. We coat the chemistry specific to phosphate. So when you add those particles into the wastewater containing phosphate, those particles will absorb phosphate. Then you can use the magnet to separate the particle from the wastewater. And now the water can be discharged without phosphate. And the benefits this type of wastewater system can have for the farmers are pretty obvious. Along with saving time and money, it also creates a byproduct they can reuse in their fields. So by doing that, you remove some of the permitting requirements for the farmers and the processors who have to apply and require different permitting uh, in order to discharge different waters to either area streams or even to municipal waste facilities. So it could reduce their cost. It also extracts a natural resource in phosphate that's very valuable to them if they're growing crops. So it's a win-win all the way around, we think. As you know, the mainly the phosphorus is used as a fertilizer. So it's a, a kind of like a threat for crop production uh, with limited phosphorus. And uh, we, if we can recycle the phosphate in wastewater, in manure, and uh, we can actually release that uh, limitation. While this project is focusing in on agriculture, it's not the only industry that could use this type of technology. So we're looking at a lot of different activities. Primarily, initially, we're looking at a lot of the protein farmers. So looking at any of your you know, beef and dairy and, and, and poultry type of farmers. But we're also looking at different ways that it can be used in different you know, um, wastewater streams, whether it's in municipal settings or other settings as well. But initially, the focus of the work is on ag. Even though the results do look promising in the early stages, researchers are looking to improve the effectiveness. That means that there are still years of research and testing to be done. Currently, we are working on chemistry optimization to increase the uh, adsorption efficiency for phosphate. We are also working on prototype development. And we are going to develop a low-cost and flow-through system for wastewater treatment. Reporting from Atlanta, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.